Back to aliens again. We're going to be answering uh, viewer comment and um, opens up some topics based around religion and demons and aliens and ghosts and the supernatural. And then, you know, we'll get back to crafts later. Uh, Tuesday morning, May 28th, and um, I just got up a little while ago, and I've been waiting for Brian. Um, we didn't have time yesterday. We had company over and watched a movie, and he's been begging me to read the comments on the alien video to him, and it was um, much more positive. <coughs> in an agreement than we had expected. So, this is fresh out of bed, talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I read him all the comments except for one particular comment from Lynn. Uh, Lynn, I really wanted his reaction recorded when I read it because I found your comment very interesting. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. I get to stop you though, right? Yeah. Hello, Wendy. I have to say, Brian isn't far off from the truth about some things. First, there are other beings living among, among us posing as aliens. He talked about God's, God's angels he created before man. <clears throat> what Brian forgot is that Lucifer, the smartest and closest to God, tried to overthrow our Heavenly Father. He then became Satan and took one third of the angels and left. Mm -hmm. Well, you didn't leave, you got cast out of heaven. Um, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. He dwells among us now, but only for a short time. We belong to a non denominational non denominational non denominational church. <clears throat> There's a man who was a Wiccan witch who worshiped Satan. He now is a born-again believer in Jesus. He couldn't even say Jesus' name before he truly wanted free of Satan. He can tell you the aliens are Satan's demons. There will be anarchists who will, with a chip, change the DNA in people who accept it. They will be bound in hell with Satan after the final battle. Can I can I stop you there? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I, I don't, I don't know that they're all bad. Okay, you don't want to hear the whole thing before coming. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. I'm just saying. I'm is... just. Oh, okay, go ahead. Sure. Okay. Because <clears throat> you might go into more detail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mike told us most Satanists and Wiccans know the Bible better than Christians to use it against them by deception. Like I said, Brian is spot on in some ways. The giants were real. They were part of the angels that pretended to be man and mated with women. That's why they, that's where they came from. They fought in the ancient battles. These angels also taught what is now the spells and magic that was created only for good in heaven. Remember, all things were created by God. Satan stole or imitates what he knows. There are other dimensions that we aren't to mess with, but are through Satan's demons, or as Brian calls them, aliens. Mike knows how, <clears throat> how to do the trans meditation and leaves his body, but realizes now that it was Satan he was messing with and no longer does it. 
The TV shows only gives enough truth to keep people from knowing the real truth. They try to make Jesus look like a fictional character that is <clears throat> that is Satan's plan. Remember, he will have his seven years of glory and many will bow to him. Yes, Jesus left, but he's building a house with many rooms for those who will be safe for when he returns for those who accepted him before the seven years of tribulation. Then we will come back with him that final time and Satan with his aliens, parentheses, demons, will destroy will be destroyed forever. That is scripture. The whole part Satan doesn't want told. I've been attacked on a regular basis by those <clears throat> by those demons because I won't keep my mouth shut. I just keep winning against them. We are God's only children, yes. There are many worlds, but he sent his son only for us. Just like Mandy's painting asked, who do you say I am? Brian, you are a smart man and understand and see much more than most are willing to look outside that box. But make sure you do not, you're not deceived by what you see. <clears throat> Just ask the Holy Spirit to keep showing you the truth and you will see it. After all, he used me just now to point to you on the right direction. Wendy, <clears throat> Wendy, if you want to take this down because you think it'll cause more drama, please do so. That's the last thing we need. You're married to one smart guy. <laughs> I don't know about that. But that's, that's it? Okay. That's her comment. Okay, so. Just some thoughts on that, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So, So we know biblically that 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 Satan <coughs> defied God and if, that he had followers, right? And a third of the angels, God casted down a third of the angels, mm -hmm. right? And um, and they were they were sent to earth but they were not to interact with man which I don't know that that's, you know, I, I think he obviously influences us, but but he means Satan. Satan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is the thing: we know there's a battle going on around us that we can't see. It describes in the Bible, right, of uh, another dimension that we're not aware of, and there's good and evil battling around us. So that. I, I don't believe that all aliens are bad. I don't know if she's an, in, you know. Um, well, where you had like alien and angel were interchangeable terms in the theory. Mm -hmm. She's saying alien equals demon. Yeah, and I I think there's good angels and bad angels. I I, I do agree. So you know, right? That religiously, I don't believe we look into anything. Supernatural. Supernatural. Mm -hmm. We don't look into the other dimensions. He doesn't like me watching haunted TV shows. Nope. Nothing nothing with anything supernatural because the thing of it is, is there's good and bad. You don't know who you're dealing with. You were even a little freaked out when you were in New Orleans with all the voodoo chaps. Yeah. Anything like that. Where where you have people around that accept that. I, that invites... Satan in to do his work. I mean, on us, and that you know, you know, we're we're even though you know people are believers in God in Jesus, that you know it it still opens those people up to being influenced and 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 that by Satan. So I I don't think you look into that. So, but when it comes to the alien parts, I guess what I was trying to say is is I, I just think the stereotype of people who believe in aliens are uh, crazy. Cool. Yeah, they're crazy. I mean, it's because of the term aliens, and, and that's what I was trying to say. Anybody spiritual and and believes that believes in God or a, a creator and that, you know, he created angels, and we all you know, accept that. You know, what I'm guess basically saying there is that there's another creation beyond humans that is intelligent and you know we could term that 
you know to make it more digestible to make it more not that I mean, we believe don't, that that is exactly the correlation but in order to explain why people should consider being more open-minded is if you're accepting of angels why not aliens right they're all different creatures made by god just different planet there's just a different name put to it right right and i guess that that's <coughs> what i was at as far as hang up on you know <coughs> I, I mean you could you could call them something and so if you called every all the aliens angels there's good angels and there's bad angels right. so i mean that that <coughs> that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that you every know angels good <coughs> right right and you know so you know i guess yeah i guess you know i guess the danger in what i'm hearing from her is I mean I, I think she makes a lot of great points and stuff is that you know um, is that if if we encounter something that we would consider an, an an alien that it would be bad you know I mean I don't know if that's what she's insinuating but I I would caution against that because I don't think every everything that would be termed an alien right. would be bad I I just you know, I think there's good and there's bad, I and mean, you, you don't know who you're dealing with, so right. you, you know, you can't, you know, I, I guess you have to be skeptical, you know, like, like anything, you know, I, like, so, so like anything, I think you have to look more into it, so one, one of the best, I did a Bible study with a pastor for years, and just one-on-one, -on -one, we did a Bible study, he was intrigued with me because I had a real, um, he said my faith was on fire because I was seeking a lot of information and knowledge about about scripture and the meaning of things and you know um, I think what really what really got him was I asked him a question you know if God is all knowing and he foresees the future and he wants all his children to be saved and you know he wants everybody to go to heaven and, and all that then he knew when he created, when he created man, obviously he gave us a choice, but he knew that we would fall. If he has foreknowledge, right? Well, he knows everything. Right. So why, why did he create the fallen? You know what I mean? Why wouldn't he create the people who just, who just, who just are going to be saved? You know what I mean? Right. So why why subject everybody to to you know I mean I understand the whole choice thing but why subject people who are of faith to fall I you know I mean it, it can happen so um, you know I guess I don't know how I got off of that but you know I guess the whole thing is is to you know. One of the things that he told me that was really important to me was, regardless of what you hear, what I say, what somebody else says, <clears throat> the real the real way to know is to look in it to it yourself and let the Holy Spirit speak to you as to what you're interpreting, not from somebody else's interpretation. So, if that makes sense, so look into it yourself, read it yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, hear how it speaks to you, ask more questions, look more into it, and, and that's where you start finding some of the answers rather than just, <clears throat> and I think people just base their their belief systems on what they hear, you know, and they don't know anything beyond that, and they've never really looked into it themselves, so I, <clears throat> you know, or, or, or I haven't looked into it enough, so... Um, when it comes to aliens and angels and good and bad, you know, I believe there's a battle going on around us right now that we don't see. Um, it's another dimension, and <clears throat> um, and we need to, you know, um, be aware of it. Uh, not everything's bad, but not everything's good. Uh, we're not supposed to, you know, seek it you know, try to try to look into it. Well, that was where I was going when I was waiting for a pause. Was how you said it's our 
responsibility to look into it and not just take what people say for granted and you need to look into it and discover it for yourself. Mm -hmm. But then <clears throat> how does that then apply to the supernatural aspect when you don't look into it, you don't watch movies about it, you don't, when you're saying on the other hand, you're supposed to look into things. Well, I mean, you can, you, you can look into it to be aware of what it is, but you're not supposed to try to interact with it, you know. <clears throat> Ouija, so if I watch a Ghost Hunters or, episode, I'm interacting with it? You know, I guess if it's if it's a form of entertainment, um, you know, I, I mean, I think there's a difference when, you, when you're reading scripture and you find out that, you know, what God says about it, um, you, you know, that you're, you're getting the source from, from a trusted source, I mean, something you believe in. So you know it's not deceiving you or that it's leading you down the wrong path when you start watching these shows and hauntings and spirits and stuff. I mean, it might be interesting, but the danger is, is you start you start becoming tolerant to things that we shouldn't be, you know, and you and you start you start you, you you become tolerant you become numb to the things that we should watch out for you know what I mean well yeah I understand that too I understand the theory behind that but mm -hmm. let's say that you're completely ignorant of anything about haunted stuff let's say you were raised by uh, parents who it was taboo to talk anything about it can't mm -hmm. watch it on TV or whatever mm -hmm. you come of age and so you start want, watching haunted shows or all that stuff because you know nothing about the topic and you want to learn about it because you were sheltered from it. Well, I mean, sheltered in the way that, so do you know spiritually that you shouldn't look into that? What I'm saying is, is I mean, okay, do you let, know me, let, me, let me elaborate, let me elaborate. Mm -hmm. So, people who have had encounters with spirits and stuff, mm -hmm. there's, just like everything else, they it's said that there's good ghosts and bad ghosts. People have had evil hauntings and people have had mm -hmm. playful hauntings or children and whatever mm -hmm. who don't mean them harm. But if you've been completely sheltered from the topic your entire life but I, 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 and you're just watching TV shows about different houses. Well, then you don't know that you shouldn't look into it. So you can't make the choice. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You didn't want your kids watching anything about that. Right. And then when Jesse got older, he started watching all that stuff. Yeah, and I told him, and, but he's got to, he's an adult. He's, he's got to make his own decisions. But, you know, I, I told him why. I took, you know, I pointed out, you know, there's scripture that says don't do that. And that he should look into that, read that scripture, you know, see how, how, what it's saying to him. Um, I believe you don't do that, um, and if anything, I believe I did my part. I can only be responsible for myself to 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 lead my kids down the right path and not doing that. You know okay. what I mean? So then, clarify for me because I didn't quite catch <clears throat> the answer. Mm -hmm. Watching shows like *An American Haunting* or something like that, where it's a documentary type program about something that happened somewhere in the United States or wherever in the world is and you've made the comment if it's for entertainment so if it's just for gathering knowledge and entertainment and learning is that bad too? So let, let me put it to you this way if you're watching those shows the way I would watch a show like that would be because you're, in, you're inquisitive about what was going on right about the spirit how it interacted with Right, and um, so I think you're opening yourselves up to being more. You're opening yourself up to being more inquisitive about that. You know, you become numb to the interaction between us and the spirit world. Okay, and I think that's where the danger is. We need to know about it, but we don't need to to look into it. You know what I mean? I don't need to look into, um, you know, how we contact them or 
you know, I don't need to look into stories as to, you know, this person encountered this and this is what happened. I, I need to know that that's not something I should be, you know, looking into. That's that's what I know. I know that I don't need to, to look into that. That's I don't know what I'm dealing with. Um, you know, and because we don't know, how can you how can you know if it's good or bad? You know, and and I, you know, I I think you know another thing I believe in religion is we we can't always be tolerant. We can be accepting. Okay, we can accept differences. We can accept um, you know people sin and that we can forgive them and that's acceptance and stuff. But we can't be tolerant to. To things that we're that we're told not to do, you know, we we can't be tolerant to, to looking in the you know spirits and stuff when we know we shouldn't be doing. It, you know what I mean? And so, so there's a difference between being accepting and being tolerant. And when you're looking at these shows, you can accept that that's happening, but you shouldn't be tolerant and in looking into that. So, I, if that makes a little bit more sense, that's what I believe. And you know, I. Yeah, I don't like it when you do it, but, you know, you know when you have it on, I want to leave the room, or I leave the room, or I change the channel, or I don't want to, right? And I'm always on you not to not to be looking at that stuff, right? Yeah. Right. Whereas I look at it, you know, like, let's just say that Lynn is correct and, and aliens equals demons then you're watching mm -hmm. all these alien shows you're doing kind of exactly what you're telling me not to I you know I, I think I, I don't know that aliens equals demons I think there's good aliens and there's bad aliens I'm not you know watching the <clears> show <throat> to find out about you know the experiments they're doing on people. I, I'm, I'm, you know, those shows are more, it's a subject right now, whether they are real or not, whether, you know, um, all these stories through history are, are, are happened or these just, you know, people making it up or believing something, it's a phenomenon, and they believe it, but it's not really true, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, that's the angle I'm taking with sure. it, you know. But we do know that there's that there's a God and that there's good and there's bad. And, you know, I mean, we live it every day, you know, and uh, that I don't think we need to prove, you know. Well, I guess I look at it a little differently because there's skeptics in, in all kinds of topics. So there's people who don't believe in ghosts. And I might, let's say, hypothetically, I'm a person who doesn't necessarily am on board with ghosts or aliens or this or that. So you watch shows to hear more stories <coughs> of what's happened to try and decide whether or not this is bunk or whether it's If there's true. an afterlife or not? Yeah. Okay. And also, just like you said, there's there could be good and bad aliens. There could be good and bad ghosts and good and bad hauntings. So right. Just because you're watching shows about it doesn't mean you're opening, this is my opinion only, that you're opening yourself up to bring the, that bad entity into your life. I, you you're know, trying to learn about it to understand, make decisions of whether or not you believe in that stuff. And I'm not trying to, you know, open my life up to spirit. But maybe I've had some weird things happen to me that were unexplainable and so you watch shows to see well I, mean, I wonder if that was a ghost or maybe it was alien or maybe it was what or I, you know I, you know I know that scripture says don't look into that so I don't question it you know we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're children really and we you know you, a child can question something too and you can explain it to them and I mm -hmm. think that's what scripture does it, but mm -hmm. you know if we're not able to reason it out, if, if a child isn't able to reason it out, then they just have to, that's part of your faith, yeah. you know, to, to, to follow in faith, sure. that we know that's not something we should do, you know. Um, I, you know, 
if you if you're saying you want to know what it is and you basically are insinuating you believe in aliens and you believe in ghosts if you want to know which one it is i mean you know, no that's not what i was saying I, I, well i'm I, saying that trying to just learn more about it not to open my life up to it but i guess i i think that lynn's comments are very intriguing in that mm -hmm. like you said you don't look into the supernatural but aren't aliens supernatural? I think they're another being. I think there's a difference. I mean, and yeah, and Satan is too. I, you know, I, I think the thing of it is, is it's almost like, are we trying to, it would be like, if we didn't, if, if society said, I don't believe there's Satan, well, then we would have to do you know, there would have to be discussions whether or not that's true or not, okay? And you'd have to look at some examples and, you know, I mean, that's the whole stage of where we are, whether or not there's I see. aliens. I mean, people believe that we're the only thing. Right. <laughs> I mean, that there's that there's no intelligence. Did you know that Earth is flat? Yeah, well... Yeah. We watched and a documentary well, a week ago about... Quinn had brought it to our attention the whole society of people who believe that the world is flat and that the the whole thing has been um, big smoke and mirrors act with the the using Hollywood studios to create the moon landing and all this stuff and so yeah. so on that that you know you're you know those are like cults and th that brings up a whole nother subject which is really interesting I'm just gonna tell you the, the problem with the ancient aliens and the whole idea of aliens is I think a lot of people look at that as a cult. And I think the problem with that is this, there's not enough <clears throat> there's not enough discussion as to um, tying it into religious beliefs, you know. Um, and I think that's the problem. And I think, you know, if, if there was, it, it, it may not be considered a cult. Hey, this is too loud to hear. It may not be considered a cult if it was. And I, you know, but they teach it as, you know, almost like, like, you know, there's evolution and then there's ancient aliens that influence that evolution and we're headed some direction because of, all, I, well, where's the religion in that? You know, I know they tie it in some, some places, but... You know, I, I think that's the problem. I mean, I, you know, and and you got to keep that at a, at a bay. That's why I say I don't know, mm -hmm. but I think there's possibilities, and that's what I agree with. And I, you know, don't want to get tied into like the cult type type status where you know I'm saying, oh no, this is what happened. I don't know what happens. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, we don't have the answers. Someday we will have the answers, but mm -hmm. not now. And. So I, you know, but I do think we have to keep an open mind, mm -hmm. and I, I think what I'm after is that people that don't keep an open mind are, you know, I think dismissing things and talking almost factual, like it doesn't exist because they, because they d aren't keeping an open mind. You can't talk factual about something you don't, right. you know, you haven't know. experienced really. Right. I mean, where's where's the where's the, you know. I wanted to bring up something from the first video because when we watched it back and you know before posting it and you got Don't to the do that we'll keep this short and then do that okay so we're we'll stop there and then we're going to come back in a minute well what were you going to say no because then it's going to open it up for a whole other okay. topic so right. we'll that's it we'll come back with more <laughs> well all i can say is that explains a lot but it doesn't explain one thing. Like, why am I wearing a woman's top? I don't know how I got in this shirt. More to come on this. Well, not the shirt, but the alien stuff.